Today on this episode of Dino Times, we're going to be talking about a very iconic dinosaur, the Pachycephalosaurus. I'm your guys, the host, Dakota Morgan, coming to you from Phoenix, Arizona. Friend of your podcaster, animal caretaker, dinosaur enthusiast, and more. And let's dive into the quick little facts about the Pachycephalosaurus. The name does mean thick-headed lizard in Greek, and of course, it is a herbivore. And of course, you guys have probably figured out this is the dinosaur that you see in Jurassic Park, The Lost World. And since then, not too much in this franchise, even though it should be seen more. You have seen its cousin, Stiggy Moloch, though, later in the franchise. Pachy is a genus of the Pachycephalosaurid, actually, family. And that actually from the late Cretaceous as well. Known from the type species P. Wyominus, but there's actually the big going on currently as of this recording that there is a second species of P. spinifer. Of course, like we did say, though, the, the genus was alive in uh, the late Cretaceous, but Pachycephalosaurus was found in North America in multiple locations, range from Alberta all the way down south. And of course, what it's known for is that thick skull. So Pachycephalosaurus had a thick skull roof of actually nine inches thick, like most of everybody else in the family had had. But the bait is still ongoing at the moment on whether or not they actually use it to ram each other because everybody always thinks that dinosaur in the heads and they ram each other all the time. But there's been some pretty, pretty good evidence to show that that wouldn't be the case. But we still don't know for sure. And the debate is still going on at the moment about it. Now, of course, it wasn't just a naked dome skull. So it actually had these like horns along the base of the skull or on the base of the dome on the skull, I should say. And actually, as the animal grew older, the horns would actually, on the Paki at least, on the other ones, not so much, but on the Paki would, was the horns would shrink and actually smooth out and get more rounder as the animal grew. Instead of protruding and growing longer like most horns do on dinosaurs. Now, speaking of the skull, still though, it had large large round eye sockets that face forward suggesting actually good eyesight and binocular vision and this is proven due to looking at the skulls of modern day animals hopefully you guys learned a little bit about the pack yourself a source if you did be sure to like the video subscribe for more paleo content here on the channel of course other nerdy things as well too i've been you guys as host dakota morgan and of course remember science is real